We are in my office. My office is ICL Express, Impressa Cargo Logistics, and Impressa Travel. Uh, I am in this office for about 20 years. I'm Russian-American. I came to United States 1978. For 25 years, I am Republican. I do business, and I do politics. In 1986, I used to be Pennsylvania State Russian Commission, being Republican in Democratic City, Philadelphia. As may you know, in Brooklyn, New York, on March 20th, we had election, election for state senator place. Democrat Lou Fiedler against Republican attorney David Starobin. Fiedler is professional politician for 20 years. He was elected in many, many uh, government and state position. But what is interesting, never ever he was confronted, not from Democrats, not from Republicans. He always knew that he going to be seat. That's why he didn't know that new guys coming and it's going to be fight with him. This guy is David Starobin. The election is over. And even a lot of people promised to Fiedler that he's going to win with margin 95 over 5%. Actually, when the all votes being counted, it's a 50-50. Even 50-50, I would say Starobin won because it was his first experience when he fight small David against a big Goliath. So 50-50. So who is the winner? The winner is going to be counted by absentee votes. Absentee votes, if people are going for vacation, people are going somewhere, and um, they're giving, they're just doing piece of paper saying, my name is Martin Luther, and I'm going to be out of country. I'll be in Georgia or somewhere, and I'm going to vote for. That's his privilege to not say for whom. So it was about 700 absentee votes. And when after 50-50, two sides, Starobin sides and Fiedler sides, start to count, and they got the first vote. OK, his name is Yuri Ivanov. Fiedler side, so no, we would not count Ivan Yuri, because this is a Russian name. And you know that all Russian, they are cheating, they are, they are not honest, they are not honest, I'm not going to count. And every, every Russian votes, even he is American, American-American, this votes being denied. It's, it's about 200 votes. That's why people who consider this announcement by Fiedler's side as racist. We just came to Fiedler office. That was about 40, 45 people, or maybe more. We invite Russian-American media. They call to Fiedler office saying, would you, would you please make comments? Why you say that all Russians, they're un un honest, their charlatans, whatever, Hitler office refused to comments, refused to speak about. This is why we just came to the office with peaceful, I'm saying, with peaceful demonstration. When people speaking, we are American, we are American. Count our voice. I am an American. Count my vote. 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 I'm American, 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 count my vote.
And when Mr. Robinoffice realized that all absentee votes gonna be denied by Fiddler employees, his office decided to speak up openly why this racist remark, the Russian and honest charlatan whatsoever, and we decided to have a peaceful rally, peaceful rally to go to Fiddler office, and about 40, 45 people, and among them, my friends, one of them is Boris Kotlarsky, the guy whom I know for about 25 years. My name is Boris Kotlarsky. I was shot What Boris said, Boris said that he was in his apartment building, which is consists with three-corner building, located in Neptune Island, and he was uh, controlled. He was allowed to check every word, speak to every person, ask him many, 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 many questions. He checked the people when they work, and some people saying, we are going to Miami for vacation. Let us sign absentee uh, words, and they sign name, first name, address, because other people check their credential, driver license, and other things which is verified their ID. So Boris checked many, many persons who signed absentee words, and what Boris stated that this person actually voted only once, giving the absentee votes. He knows these people, and Boris was upset why the person who is American, Russian American, why his vote being denied, because he is Russian, this is racist remark by Fiddler office, and this is by Boris Katlarsky, as a good Russian American citizen, express his против русскоязычной общины. Now we approach to the lady who is about late 50. Her name is Aza Zubko. She is very active. She is a good spokesperson for many people with her age. And I spoke with them and asked why they are here, what are they doing, what purpose, what they move them here, and what they want to talk about. <laughs> what she said, that when we came to the United States, we came with good intention to give our children, to give our family chance to start our life over and over again. And we start to work, our kids went to college, our grandkids grow up, we became citizens. And big citizen, it's a big concern, because our country right now, by my approach, going to the wrong direction. We are in the debt for many trillion, trillion dollars. Not me, I'm an older person, but my kids, my grandkids, gonna pay this trillion and zillion, zillion dollars. This is why I like to use my words to stop this unnecessary spending. I want to stop this unnecessary debt. This is why my vote is for Starov. And again, my vote being denied, like many, many other people. That's why we are here. This is why we want to show that, that we are the same American. We are really, really upset by our votes being denied. And I'm saying open that all these people who vote for Starovia, they're good Americans. 
and they are not enemy for anybody. They just express as American citizen and don't let be them be upset. We are watching. We are American. Count our words. I'm shooting. I'm shooting. I know. Don't lift a hand to me. Don't okay. raise a hand to me. Okay, okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. Don't scream me, please. I walked in my office. Okay. How you doing? I was in charge. Sorry, sorry. How you doing? I was in charge. This woman uh, go across uh, my shoot. Very aggressive. Very aggressive. Gregory Waxman is American. Count his vote. В очередной раз демократическая машина Южного Бруклина в городе Нью-Йорк дала сбой. And I was among 40 or 45 people who came to Hitler office. I am the guy who spoke with some police officer because Hitler office called to police and told them that the Russian coming, they're gonna destroy cars, they're gonna put in the fire and all this, all this bullshit. So I approached the police officer and I'm saying, they are peacefully, peacefully, real, peaceful people. And we came here because our words being denied. I asked him, how old are you? And he said, I'm 35 years old. I asked him, do you remember who was Martin Luther King? Said, of course. Do you know what Martin Luther King gave to you guys? He said, yes, we, we, now we can work. Say, now you can vote, and we are right now black Russians because we can vote, and this is why we express our ability just to make this peaceful demonstration to give us right to vote, and our vote should not be count. Count our voice. We had we had 30 minutes and okay yeah, thank you I just it. want to know so we cannot stay here anymore. No, too much of a crowd, you know. I okay, whatever you say. I appreciate it. Though. I hope you got your word. Yeah, I hope we got. So we gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah.